Welcome to the ultimate cheap bastards beginner's guide to film photography. Whether you're a newcomer to the world of photography that has never had a camera in his hands before, or a seasoned digital shooter who wants to dip his toe in the vast pond of film photography, you may rightfully feel overwhelmed with the amount of choices you face. After all, film cameras have been around quite a bit, more than a century, so you may find them in all shapes, forms and prices. Where to start? This guide is for you. Throughout this series, we'll delve into each film format individually, presenting you with a curated selection of camera and lens options to suit every budget. Whether you're looking to spend under $50, under $250 or under $500 or euros, I've got you covered. We are spoiled for choices, so we'll exclusively talk about cameras and lenses I personally still use or I've used in the past. Every recommendation comes straight from my own personal experience. Now, you may be thinking, $500 is an exact pocket change. And you're absolutely right, but consider this. It's still less than the average price of a high-quality compact digital camera and often less than the price of a decent smartphone. So, if you're ready to embark on your film photography journey without breaking the bank, you're in for a treat. Of course, if you're completely new to film photography, you might find yourself grappling with the question of which format to choose. The good news? There are no hard and fast rules here. The beauty of film photography lies in its versatility. There are no rules set in stone. Whether you're drawn to the immersive detail of large format, the convenience of 35mm film, or something in between, the choice is yours to make. Throughout this series, we'll explore the most common options and help you find the perfect fit for your creative vision. So, grab your notepad and pen and get ready to unlock the secrets of film photography on a budget. Whether you want to capture candid moments on the streets or breathtaking landscapes, there's a film format waiting to bring your vision to life. Let's begin with a short explanation of the various film formats. And don't worry, we will talk more in detail about each one during the various episodes. 35mm, aka full format, is the most common one, the one most people think of when we talk about film. It usually comes in metal canisters, but to save money you can also buy it in bulk rolls and load it by yourself. The next step is 120, or medium format. It might be confusing at first for a beginner, because on the same film format, different cameras will shoot frames of different sizes. The jump in overall quality from 35mm will be already pretty noticeable, maybe in comparison with the smallest medium format frame size. Last step, large format. This is shoot in specialized and extremely versatile cameras. Large format actually includes several sizes. You can go as small as 4x5 or as large as 8x10. And beyond that, there is also the exotic world of ultra-large format, with sheets of film essentially the size of a poster. That's it for today. Next time, we'll talk about the best choices for shooting street photography and reportage on film. Don't forget to like and subscribe.